First, delete the default test. Once you delete the default test, the next thing is to create your image size. We are using a landscape image. So this part, once you click this part, select image size. Once you select image size, click this option, click that and select YouTube thumbnail size. So it will give you a landscape image. Now let's create the background of our image manipulation. So we are trying to create a building, the building for our, our logistic business. Now click here and select color. So once you select this one, you click on color, you click on color. Once you click on color, then you click on this plus button, which is for gradient. Select gradient before selecting that plus button. So once you click plus button, you select this paint bucket first. Select blue color for the sky. Change the second uh, color to this one. Click that and select this paint bucket again. Once you select that paint bucket, you'll be able to pick white. We are using plain white for the second color. Then you move this one upward. This one. Move it upward. So once you move it upward, you click OK. Now we are having something related to a sky color. Now click activate and then you start creating your image. First, I will bring in the cloud that I'm using for this sky image. So import. So once you bring in the PNG image, you reduce it, adjust it to this place, copy it again, bring this one here, you can adjust the size, place it here, copy it again, place it here. This is okay. Okay, now let's bring in the next thing, which is the, the ground, the floor. So click import and select the downloaded image. Okay. I'll provide all the link in the description box. Let's stretch it out and place it here. Now we have something perfect. The next image, let's pin this down first, all the icons and uh, images we've imported. Let's click them, pin them down by selecting this part. So you click the layer option and pin everything down. So you click this again and then you, it disappears from the screen. From the screen. So now, Let's bring in the image of our building. All of these are in PNG format. So click import. Once you click import, select the building. Here is it. Once you select the building, activate it and adjust the size. Adjust the size. Let's use one corner here. Okay. Now we need to adjust the color to make it blend together with what we have before. So click color filters. I believe you see that. Color filters. Once you click color filters, Adjust the brightness, reduce it, maybe like 25, 24. Contrast, increase it to like 27, 25 around that side. So see, then you activate it. Now let's bring in the next thing, which is our van, our pickup, our forklift van. So I'll click import again, bring it in. Here is it. But if you notice, this one has some issue at the base here. So we need to use erase erase so you use eraser to blend it away adjust these two options at the top here once you adjust the two move it and then move this one you can use your finger to clean erase 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 and then you activate it now we need to adjust the pickup van reduce the size using your finger let it go together you know this must be realistic so adjust the size and then place it at the front of the building. So if you need to zoom in to see what you've done, the option is available here. This one. So you can use that. Then we bring in the main van that is carrying the goods. So click here. Select this one to change the dimension and then activate. This also needs to be adjusted using your fingers. Reduce the size. Mm -hmm. 
after adjusting the size let's bring in the main uh the, the billboard okay this is where we are going to mock up our flyer that we designed earlier in the first lesson so place it here but before we do that i want to write welcome on the ground this is just a tutorial not a main design so i just want to show you the secret of creating that kind of test how you can manipulate test on surfaces that will make it look realistic so click on test let's just use welcome welcome so now our test is here so we want to place it here but we need to blend it together with the ground so this is how to blend the test to the ground go to font select font go to my font and select any font you want to use let's say i'm using we use this a big deal now this is the test but you need to go to this part locate texture this is texture select texture and then pick an image the image can be the surface that is looking ash in color or you can use this so, uh, the ground itself so just pick any part of it because we are using it to blend this ground now you know we can't see our welcome again can you see it blends together with the ground so this is what we are going to do go to shadow we activate the shadow and then adjust the blur radius so once you adjust the blur radius don't put on the outer glow activate it and then go to inner shadow again activate that as well and reduce the blur radius Let's try white color. Okay, white color makes sense. 3D rotate. We have the X axis and the Y axis. Rotate the Y axis until you have something plain with your ground. Then you can adjust the size if you want. Can you see? It's as if the test is being added or created together with the ground. So now just mock up your flyer that you've created earlier into this billboard. So I'll select the flyer I've done earlier in the first lesson. Here is it. Once you select it, I'm using only a, a part of it because the billboard is not in, a square. So you can consider the size of your billboard before you do or create your, your design. So now I have something like this. Let me just use this for the sake of this tutorial. Let me just blend it on this part. Okay, it remains a little. Adjust until you have something perfect. If your billboard is not plain you need to use this part of your design perspective option perspective it enables you to adjust to the dimension it is but this is just what a plain billboard so you can go with that and then you can blend any other thing you want to blend you can adjust your building your truck and every other thing for it to look realistic so once you are done you can save using this option so you are good to go please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel.